Hey everyone, it is me, TNT, and I'm back with another episode on the Tazcast server. It is episode 4, and today we're starting things off in front of Oceans Are Us. We built this last episode, and it's grown on me quite a lot. Um, I'm actually starting to kind of like how it looks. It could still be a little bit wider. Who is that? Okay. Um, but other, besides that, I think it turned out really, really good. Uh, but today, I really want to start working on our base. And I told you guys last episode that I want it to be um, made out of prismarine blocks, and that still stands. And I still have like my big koi fish idea, whatnot. We're still gonna do that. So I actually, like I think I said last episode, want to do it in the desert. Um, so we gotta go find a nice large area and claim it as ours, so that way people know not to like steal sand from that area. Uh, so let's go do that. Also, just so you know, there's like a poll at the end of the episode. If you guys go want to go do that, you should just really fast. Um, or you, you can just like wait till the end of the episode. Okay, but thank you so much. Bye. Problem is we don't have many good deserts in here that are like, that don't have like grass near them or anything. Okay, but like seriously, just a little bit farther out, the village is over there. Uh, this place looks pretty good in my opinion. The chunks are not loading because this is technically new spawn chunks, but... From what I can see, it looks pretty good. We have plenty of desert here, which is perfect. So the only problem will be this, like, part of grass over here. Uh, but, so it will probably be a little bit, like, in sight, but it shouldn't be a big deal, hopefully. Um, so I think we're just gonna do it right here. So where this block is will probably be about the center-ish. We might even go a little bit more just this direction. That way we don't have to deal with that grass bit as much. I think right there should be good. Um, so basically my plan, uh, like I said, is going to make a big koi pond. Um, and then I kind of want to go up all the way to sky limit and build basically like this big kind of a dome shape. Um, and I know what you're thinking. No, it's not going to be made out of glass if you've watched season two. Um, and it's not going to be like the big full thing because that would take forever. So basically it would look kind of like this where it's not filled in on the sides. Um, but imagine that going all the way up to sky limit and being white concrete instead. Um, and then there's going to be kind of like buildings shooting up around the koi pond. Um, and it should look pretty cool. I'm trying to go for like an oasis feel. Um, so there's going to be like a lot of water, a lot of fountains, stuff like that. So hopefully it works out well. Well, I have been very vi busy with other videos. I was doing the one with like um, the infinity portals and 1,000 subscribers, stuff like that. Um, but I'm finally back on Tazcraft, and I've just when I've ever ha whenever I had free time, um, I've been just basically trying to flatten this place out. I want this whole area to be completely flat. Um, so if we go over in this direction, uh, you'll see this little marker right here. So basically, from this marker to all the way over here right here i want it to all be flat uh and then there's also another marker right there and on the other side so it's a hundred blocks um from that corner to like that corner or not corner that edge to that edge um and 50 blocks from the middle to each edge um and i want just like that square to be completely cleared out um which is a really hard thing to do but I think that it will look really good in the end and I'm trying to go really nice and large and impressive with the space and I think that if we just have a really nice flat area it will definitely help us out um, but that's not all I want to do in this episode I, I actually want to have some fun in this episode but yeah that this is my big project for right now this is probably gonna take uh, probably like two weeks is my guess uh, I don't know it's really a large area and I mean, like, there's this really large mountain here, and then there's also, you know, down here, there's these, these little valleys, which all have to be filled in with sand, so it's gonna, it's, it's gonna take a lot of work. So I know it only seems like it's been about five seconds since the last clip, but it's actually been probably about four to five days, actually, and you can see how much land I've cleared out. Um, I do have to admit, this is not all me. I actually hired a bunch of help, spent about 30-ish uh, diamonds on help. Um, and you know, it was all gray and dandy. I didn't really need the diamonds. I'm not like trying to be rich this season. Um, except for the fact that I died. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting from scratch. So basically what happened is there is a new game, the head game. Um, it's over in the gaming district. And if you guys do not know, Hermitcraft did this. Yeah. Um, personally, I do not like copying the hermits. You guys probably watch them if you watch me. Um, so I decided not to join the game. 
Uh, but yeah, a lot of other people did. And then um, Rash Saturn, Grand Suede, whatever you want to call him, uh, he needed help because he was really far behind. And I really, um, we've been on the servers together before, and I was like, I'll just help him, you know. Um, so I went out to get pigmen heads, and yeah, the pigmen, they wrecked me. Uh, I was being very careful until, like, at the end of it, where I started to get sloppy, and I made a mistake. And, yeah, there's, like, 20 pigmen that just came after me. Um, but it's okay. So I'm just gonna take this beacon, and we're gonna, we're gonna go mining. We're gonna start mining. It's been, it's been quite a while, actually. Um, I do have an efficiency 5 on breaking 3. I still touch mending pickaxe. Half of that's due to villagers, half of that's due to enchanting luck. Um, but yeah, let's, let's go do a little bit of mining. Gosh, I love haste 2 and efficiency 5. Oh, it's so nice. I already have 21 diamonds that have, like, not been working for that long. Only, like, 30-ish, maybe 40 minutes. Uh, so we do actually have a fortune 3 pick. Um, it's an iron pickaxe, though. I saved this from last time when I was first starting out. Um, so let's hope. All I want is armor and another, uh, pickaxe, which we're we've surpassed that goal um so yeah we can also make an axe with that now which is really cool um and i think that's all we really need so i think we're gonna go take a trip um to the enderman farm and start doing some enchanting gr um gr grinding uh but also if you guys do not know Vion came to my base to prank me um and he actually ended up like dragging a creeper in here and it exploded it was a total accident i totally understand um, so we left cake to apologize, so now this is, like, kind of my food source whenever I come here. Um, but, you know, it's not, it's chill. I'm not really attached to this base anyways. You know, I actually might be better off than I was before I died. Um, I have about the same amount of diamonds in my ender chest. I think I had, like, five, ten more, um, before I died. Uh, but I have, like, protection four on everything, which I don't think I had, actually. Um, I also have Fire as Aspect 2 and Knockback 2 on my uh, sword, which I did definitely did not have before. And yeah, everything else I already had and I have now. So like shovel, whatnot. Um, oh, except for an axe. I did forget about an axe. I honestly, I think dying was actually a good thing in the end. <laughs> But now I'm out in the nether trying to make another 20 diamonds because Zix said that if I give him a full sh shulker box uh, filled to the brim with uh, quartz blocks, then he'll give me 20 diamonds, which, I mean, I'll, I'll take 20 diamonds, why not? So, uh, yeah, that's what we're up to right now. Well, that took about three hours to get all that quartz for Zix, um, which I could have definitely spent just getting diamonds and probably would have gotten, like, a stack of diamonds, honestly. Um... But, you know what, I helped him out, and I also got paid, so it's, it's good. It was actually more like two hours, but still, the point is, it took a while. Uh, but anyways, I came back to my base, and there's actually a chest here from It's Grand, um, and he basically just gave me permission to use his creeper farm, which uh, is actually so amazing. Like, you guys don't understand how amazing that is, because I spend so much on rockets, and also, like, you know, Team T's great and whatnot. Um, <laughs> just saying. Uh, so this is absolutely amazing. Uh, I'm guessing this is because I died uh, and lost all my stuff in order to get him heads to win the head game. But seriously, Grand, thank you so much for letting me use your uh, gunpowder farm because, yeah, I have a decent amount of gunpowder now. Uh, so thank you ever so much. I, I, I so appreciate it. It's awesome. Um, but now I kind of want to go and try and defeat the Ender Dragon. Um, I want his egg, and I think he drops an elytra because of a data pack, and we could use both of those just for fun. And also it opens up a new portal, which is always good. Uh, so let's go do that. Well, it took me a while to get enough arrows and to get a bow ready to go and also to get the crystals, but I think it's good to go. Oh, there, there it goes. Alright, here we go, let's do this. I am doing this solo this time, which is fun, uh, but I do have a question. Can't I, can I just, like, just, nope, okay, that does not work. <laughs> so, just the tower is really fast, that should not be hard at all. Doop, a doop, a doop, oh, that one missed. I only have, like, a stack of arrows. So that's all the ones out of the, oh, shoot, that's all the ones out of the cage, so now I just need to get the ones that are actually inside a cage. 
which isn't too hard, I don't think. I think the best way to do that is to kind of get like this angle down here. Something like this. There we go. And that would be the last one. So, yep, now we're good to start dealing damage to him, which is awesome. Uh, I suck at aiming with a bow, though, so I'm actually surprised I even got that shot. Uh, oh my gosh, look at me go! Oh my, I'm, I'm doing so good. I'm rocking it. That feeling when you're using a pickaxe by mistake? There we go. Yep, we're half health already. And thank goodness I have an elytra. See, people always make fun of me for wearing an elytra while doing this stuff. But, like, why wouldn't you? <laughs> you might have a little bit extra protection with armor. But, like, it's so much easier to hit the shots on the towers and it's also like if you get knocked up you're good to go you're just fine oh they're coming in for a landing all right there we go perfect nailed it nice nice did that by myself <laughs> we got our uh, elytra our dragon and also uh, the egg so we got everything that we want uh we're good to go and we also got the new portal which is cool one more time don't mind me, dragon. I'm not doing anything that concerns you. Yep, just keep going around. I'm just gonna take some of this. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. There we go again, nice, nice. One more time again. Yeah! That does look really pretty though. Okay, it's gone. And there we go again. And I'm gonna take that. Uh, and you should also drop an elytra, which is Cool. I think the Electra may have gone in the portal, dang it. Yeah, I can grab that. Uh, but yeah, that was fun. I always enjoy taking down the Wither. Uh, not the Wither, the Dragon. Uh, so yeah, that that was good. And we got a few new portals, which is also good. Um, even though we don't really need it, but we got it. So, yep, and we also have three Elytras, so go us. <laughs> Now, I do not want to be copyrighted, uh, so that's why I'm not going to show the video, but I really, really want to make a farm uh, by Rayworks. It's an iron farm, um, and it looks totally amazing. The thing is, though, it's actually built at the end, which is super interesting. It uses the end portals that go to, like, the little end cities. Um, so I'll have to break by rock and whatnot, but I don't mind doing that. Uh, but it just looks like a really cool farm, and I really wanted to try it out. Uh, I will also make this farm a community farm because I... It produces so much iron, like 140,000 an hour or something crazy like that. Uh, so, first of all, I don't need all that iron. I don't mind sharing it. Um, but also, I actually feel like if, you know, it's at the end island and I don't need all the drops, then why not just share it with everyone? Uh, so yeah, sorry to Haxter and Zix who are making money off of selling iron. Uh, but they're both already so rich. Come on, like, just, yeah. <laughs> This is not a walk in the park project though. I need villagers uh, like at the uh, end dimension, which will be a pain. Uh, I have to like get a lot of blocks and whatnot, set it all up, break bedrock. Um, but I, th I think it should be worth it. And because it's a community farm, I'm hoping people might, you know, help me out or something a little bit, maybe. <laughs> um, but yeah, it should be it should be interesting. So we need to make a boat. We need to transfer villagers. We have to make a villager breeder. That way we don't have to like transfer a ton. Um, or maybe we should transfer a ton. It's like kind of a ton though. It would be 18 villagers that I have to transfer by hand to the end. Which might be a little bit much. But also if I make a villager breeder, then I have to tear it all down at the end. Which will not be fun. Um... I think we're gonna go for the villager breeder still though. Also, my villager se selling paper for like one emerald, which is awesome. So yeah, I just wanted to put that in the video really fast. Seriously though, guys, if you do not watch Zix, go check out his channel because this, this is this is what he's working on, and it's absolutely crazy. <laughs> I, I have no words. This is all quartz, guys. This is every single block is some sort of type of quartz except for the sea lanterns and like this brick, but like. Yeah, he's actually crazy. <laughs> but now we do have everything that we need to start building the villager breeder, uh, not counting the villagers themselves, uh, which is always the biggest struggle, but we, it, it has to be done, so we'll, we'll get it done. Uh, but yeah, now we're going to go over to the end and start assembling it, and then we'll actually worry about villagers. And I just heard a gasp. 
Uh, I think I think we're good. Okay, thank goodness. <laughs> now I'm going to be using this portal right here because it's the farthest one away from uh, where you actually spawn. Uh, so I think that if we go over in this direction to make the villager breeder, that should be good. Or maybe we should make it on this side. Uh, let's make it on this side, I guess. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> so I say right here, we'll actually be about the center of the farm, so it's off to the side a little bit. Um, and that way we can, like, the villagers will drop to about here-ish. And then we can kind of just, like, have a minecart system that'll take them over there, where the farm will actually be. So, yeah, let's start constructing this. I'm using the good old simple, uh, impulse villager breeding farm. It's really good. Almost everyone uses it. Uh, if you haven't... Dang it, I just fell. Uh, if you haven't seen his farm yet and you're interested in building a villager breeder, definitely go check him out. That's like the best one that there is out there. Uh, so link in the description to both uh, Impulse's villager breeder and also the um, iron farm that I'm making. Hopefully. You know, this is really, really easy actually. The only problem is that I'm so scared like looking places because if I accidentally look at an enderman like well coming off to this side to like place a stair or something, it's not going to be fun. <laughs> It's, it's not. I'm like close to the edge. There's like a dozen endermen around. I have full diamond, but like I still die from endermen. I have to go grab that stair because I don't have enough to make another. But like, besides that, it's actually a really easy farm. See, this, this is what I was talking about. This is exactly what I was talking about. Oh, I hate endermen. I hate endermen so much. Oh hey, my gosh. Hey, in this house we respect endermen. Kind of. Not really. I do. Good for you. They you terrify me. Okay, I 100% swear I eyeballed where I should start, like, actually building the staircase. It got, like, exactly, literally, it's, it's amazing. Look at that. Look at that. I can't believe I eyeballed that. I'm so happy right now. I, that just made my day. Today just keep on getting better. I had the perfect amount of rails, power rails to get up here. Th this is just, I, I I have no words, this is amazing. That feeling when you can tell you looked at an enderman, not because it's attacking you, but because you can hear just like the screech. The screech, uh, where'd it go? Alright, so I have this rail thing going on. Uh, it does stop kind of like halfway through, and that's where I'll use a boat, because I didn't have enough rails. Uh, and I got an enderman in the minecart. Loki want to keep him? but I probably, I kind of want that minecart. Actually, I have another. No, we're going to keep him. <laughs> so the end portal's about here, and the nearest village is about here. That's a decent difference. Ugh. Okay, so it isn't actually too bad. This is where the village should be at in the nether, so we can just make a nice little path over this gravel that probably will fall into lava if I update it. Uh, and then over here, we can do this via boat, and then just, you know, we already have a nice flat little path going right towards the end portal. Um, sorry, the nether portal. So, not that bad, actually. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna log back just for a second so I can show you guys what's happening. Ready? That's obsidian on top of me. <laughs> I glitched through, and then it covered me in obsidian. Uh, I'm here on my alt account. It's actually my sister's account. That's why I'm a girl. Um, but I have no diamonds, so I'm just gonna take some from uh, Hexter and Zix because they have a shop. I will return these with new diamonds in a little bit. I promise. I just need to make myself a pick actually fast, so that way I can, like, you know, break obsidian. Um, but I will return the diamonds, I promise. <laughs> also should have been more clear, I do not have any diamonds that are out of my ender chest. I actually have like 12 diamonds. Um, but yeah, not, not in a place where I can get to them. <laughs> okay, thank goodness I made it out. That was actually terrifying. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ugh, that was horrible. I also wasted like a ton of time. But hey, look on the bright side. We have 34 pieces of obsidian now. And there we go, one, two, three, the one, three I borrowed, and then I'm also going to buy a pair of rockets, so there we go. Oh, thank goodness, I thought that this was a dead village. Um, so there's two villagers there. The only problem is that uh, I don't see any more. 
Come on, villager. Come on. Come on, get in the boat. Come on. I know you want to. Get in, get in the get in the boat. Get in the boat. What's wrong with you guys? I got one in the boat. I got one in the boat. All right. Let's let's go, buddy. Let's let's get out of here. That's that's not what I wanted. That's no. What's what's wrong with you guys? You just have like a need to be annoying. All right. I have one in the boat. And because I don't need to worry about, like, you know, obsidian, because I have so much, I can just make a new portal here. Oh, come on! Seriously, again? And, of course... Okay. Okay. I have two villagers. I'm happy. I'm, I'm happy with this. Okay. Buddy, get... Okay. That was scary. Uh, so yeah, I made this bridge. Um... Is it the best bridge? No. If a gas shoots at us, will we probably both fall to our deaths? Yes. Have I accepted that? <laughs> you know, I may have forgotten about the cooldown time that they have to wait before they can go through a stupid another nether portal. Bro, really? Really? You're gonna do this to me? How dare you? You stay while I go grab your brother. You better stay, okay? If you get out of that boat somehow, I don't know how you would, but if you got out of that boat, I will be frustrated. I will be upset with you. Now, while I'm Nick taking my nice fly back, because, you know, I have to, like, fly back, uh, the portal at the village actually takes me to the nether, but, like, once I go through the nether back to the overworld, it doesn't take me to the right place. It's fine. I don't feel like changing it. Um... But I just have a quick question. I'm actually going to put a poll right now um, asking you guys if you like music in the background or if you just like it to be me talking. Um, I never know which one to do and I typically just do like um, music when I'm doing like a thing with Ali, uh, with my brother, sister, like the LV7, D, Paper Stars, and uh, Nixie Kens. Um, but I don't know what you guys like, so just go take the poll really fast. Just do that for me. Two bros in a Minecraft boat. Okay, he just walked into fire. How stupid do you need to be? And yes, I, I do know that I messed up and let them out of their boat, and that's my fault, but still, you walk straight into fire on your own. How stupid are villagers? Seriously. My gosh, guys. We got our farmer in. Thank goodness. Ugh, that, that was hard, but we got him in. Uh, so now we just need the other two to be in here, and then we're good, we're good to go. I hope. Maybe. Oh, we also have to add carrots. But yeah, I'm gonna call it a night. Um, I'll try to finish this off tomorrow, but tomorrow's my editing day, so... Go to bed! It's late! Go to bed! It's literally dark in this dimension! What are you doing?! Ah! There we go, they're asleep. I'm happy, they're probably having happy dreams being stuck in this horrible dimension look at that happy couple they're stuck in this dimension forever forced to breathe honeymoon that's creepy Gosh. i couldn't talk at the time but there was also like a point where i was transferring a villager and there was like gas shooting at me on this totally nerve-wracking bridge in the boat but yeah all right the villager breeder is officially done Thank goodness! <laughs> that actually took a long while, but the iron farm's gonna probably take much, much, much longer. Aston, I hate sorry, your sorry, stupid computer. <laughs> but anyways, that's all I have time for. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really, really, really appreciate it. Um, leave a like on the video if you liked it. If you reached this far, then like, thank you so much, because most people honestly don't. So thanks. <laughs> uh, consider subscribing. All that jazz. You know, I don't like being a YouTuber and saying all that stuff, but it helps out the channel. <laughs> Ali, shut up. I don't like being a YouTuber. But yeah, before we go, Sticky Piston. Yeah. Sticky Piston is a Minecraft server hosting company that offers amazing and powerful servers for a great price. Sticky Piston also has many different types of servers to choose from, such as vanilla, modded Minecraft, minigame maps, and more. They also have a great and easy way to control your server so you don't have to go through all these different web pages and whatnot. Um, it's also great for be beginners like myself at making your own server. Um, and if you do get confused with anything, uh, their customer support is great and they can help you with almost any problem that you could have. Uh, so there's a link in the description if you want to go check them out. And I highly suggest you should because I'm not, uh, they're not sponsoring me because like, they're like, oh, I want to sponsor you. No, I actually want them to sponsor me because I think, I believe, I really love their product and I think that they're doing a great job with it. Um, so yeah, definitely go check them out. But thank you guys so much for watching. Goodbye. That's it.